flowing and flourishing. I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple. What can Ezekiel's vision mean in chapter 47, verse 2, 8 and 9, and 12? Certainly not that the plumbing is broken. This water has a far deeper significance. Think about what water means to us. As a society, we do not sufficiently value this precious natural resource. We turn on the faucet and water is there. But widespread droughts in recent years have caught our attention. Water is our very life. Without it, we will die. So it is with the water Ezekiel sees flowing out of God's temple. This water becomes a flood flowing down the Kidron Valley all the way to the Dead Sea. And when it arrives there, it makes everything flourish. We cannot miss the implication. The source of the water that is our very life is God's temple. Is this source of our life simply a building? No. St. Paul says that we, God's people, are God's temple, and the Spirit of God dwells within us. We are called to be the source of this living water. But we cannot do this alone. We all together are the church, the body of Christ. Together we channel God's life-giving spirit to the world, baptized in Christ and nourished at the table of the Word and Eucharist. May we always keep this water of life clean and fresh. For more stories, please visit our website, www.pamphletstoinspire.com.